What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Cosmic OS on this device. Well this is the 9th January 2020 build on this Redmi K20 Pro and this is the latest build as of right now and the security batch is still of November 5th 2019 from last year but yeah this is the latest build of this ROM. The Android version is 10 of course and here on top it says kosher. 5.0 pardon me if i pronounced it wrong and this is a caf based rom i guess and the stock kernel here is the immensity kernel let me go back and let me talk about this rom itself let me show you the file first which i have flashed with the orange fox recovery so this is the rom file itself and as you can see it is about 700 mb in size so i have flashed it with g apps I have used BitG apps here to flash this ROM and everything went fine with the BitG apps and of course I have used the fcrypt disabler file to flash this ROM because I am decrypted and again you need a G apps to flash this ROM because this ROM does not include the G apps. Let me show you what's in there in this ROM and this is how the quick setting toggle panel looks like. You can edit and add more stuff if you want to and the Android 10 gestures if you are noticing is working fine here flawlessly no issues whatsoever. The one thing that I have noticed is that like this ROM feels a lot stable and like everything is pretty much smooth here. No problems at all that I could find with like daily driving with this ROM. Now talking about the apps it comes with, well there are some like preloaded kind of apps like this calculator app is there and the calendar app and stuff is there. And if you notice the stock dialer this is how it looks like and no the stock dialer does not have a like call recording option by default it does not show a vaulty icon up top if you're noticing and the vaulty calls are working fine here that's not a problem again a messaging icon looks like kind of this if you are noticing looks kind of cool and here you will also get some like chromium and stuff i have disabled those and quite a bloatware including the retro music or something let me show you if you use this retro music it's good for you but otherwise it kind of like weird to have this kind of apps by default but yeah there are some apps which is included in this rom and here we get the miui camera by default so that's a great thing and pictures taken with the miui camera and stuff is like pretty good not a problem here with the miui camera all the lenses does work no issues with the lenses and stuff and also the slow motion 960 fps and 4k like 60 fps videos and stuff will be working fine too i have installed the google camera 7 and this too working fine this is the version 2.0 and if you want to install it i'll link it in the card right here just go to that video you will find the download link over there and you can like check out the settings and stuff from there if you want to now let me show you the settings of this rom well which rom it is close to i would say this is pretty close to the pixel experience rom because it does not simply have a lot of customizations here so first let me go into the gesture settings in the system and here you will find the activate the torch option and this long press power button toggle torch is working fine here we also have a system navigation gesture option and here in the settings you won't find much things and this android 10 gestures and stuff are working fine but you can also use two button or three button navigation as usual and we also have this switch screen off kind of thing from the lock screen double tap to sleep is working but otherwise double tap to sleep or something in the status bar or anywhere in the home screen is not simply there and that could be a deal breaker for a lot of you it is a deal breaker for me at least because i cannot just like double tap on the status bar and make the phone sleep i have to use the power button every time i want to like lock the phone so that is a really bummer for me at least and talking about the fingerprint scanner speed here let me show you and if you're noticing in the like fingerprint scanner it shows the text like this it kind of covers the fingerprint scanner position over here it shows this kind of hd logo here let me unlock and it unlocks right away let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed again unlocked and this double tap to wake and stuff sometimes does not simply work as you can see right now i'm double tapping but it does not wake the screen as you can see right now it did sometimes the fingerprint scanner does die but the fingerprint scanner unlocking speed i would say from the like lock screen itself is pretty good but from the always on display i would say sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it does 100 percent of the time 
as you can see right now it's like not even appearing all right it did appear did not unlock now it did so the female scanner speed is like not too bad but it is kind of gets a little bit weird sometimes i would say you need at least two tries to unlock the phone like at the worst case scenario so yeah let's continue with this rom let me go into the settings again and show you the other things which are there in the battery settings you will get the battery percentage and stuff and there if you have the adaptive battery and the battery saver mode and if you want to see the full battery usage you have to go like this so right now as you can see i have used the phone for quite a while i have charged it like about 14 hours ago and i have almost like three hours plus screen on time you can definitely get about seven plus hours of screen on time with this rom pretty sure here are some screenshots and let me go back into the display settings here you will find the quick setting quick pull down and stuff if you want that as you can see from the right it is enabled and you can like pull down from the right and it will expand all the way and you can change it to like disabled or do it from the left, left side too and here we have the column and row number customization for the quick setting panel and the brightness levels and stuff is there adaptive or auto brightness option is there too if you need that screen timeout and stuff is there of course and then we have the lock screen display here we have the always on display i have the ambient wake gesture enabled even though with that the double dot to wake sometimes simply does not work for me at least and the dark theme and stuff is working fine and here we have again uh, ambient display mode then we have the anti flicker mode if you need that you can choose the accent colors from black green ocean space orchid and purple but i would say the red kind of colors are not simply there the colors do not like really pop up if you select any of them as you can see the colors really are not that interesting over here with the accent colors i would say and we also have the headline and body fonts there are just two fonts instead of default we have the google sans and the source sans pro kind of font so let me go back from the display settings in the sounds we have the mi audio dirac so that's a great thing and the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is pretty good here and if this is not an issue you get bunch of options for this me audio dirac you also have this hi-fi audio dirac if you need that and we can disable the touch vibration etc if you want that vibrate for calls option is there and let me show you this hd icon just stays on the status bar if you are noticing and the stock launcher here let me show you the settings first as you can see this is a quick step launcher here and this is how much settings you get over here not much of course and you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get the quick settings panel to the left of course google now cards swipe up for the app drawer you can search for any app over here this is not a google search panel just the app searching panel over here not a problem and here like the widgets and stuff are working fine too not an issue with the widgets on the home screen and also just a quick tip the meal calculator right now is working fine with android 10 custom roms so huge thumbs up from me at least for this you can like use it like this as you can see you can change the sizes and stuff of this thing this is a really cool like calculator app i would say the me calculator i have always wanted it on the like android 10 right now it is available for android 10 and it is working fine now with all the android 10 roms yes earlier it was working only with me why if you didn't know that like in android 10 the other on other custom roms it wasn't working so what do i think about this rom i would say you do not get a lot of things here like the three finger screenshot gesture that's not simply present then we do not even have any advanced reboot option over here so that is not simply just there so for me i would say this is not a kind of rom that i would like to daily drive with but here is the android score of this rom and you can of course play in extreme settings in this rom like if you are talking pubg you can play on like hdr and extreme settings and the whole performance of this rom is pretty great and this is the stock wallpaper of this rom and of course every time you reboot the device you have to enter your pin to unlock it so that kind of sucks now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app opening up speeds and the ram management here let's open facebook then twitter play store instagram youtube now let's open all the apps from memory again if you're noticing the app opening up speeds and stuff they are like quite fluid i have like some kind of weird issue that if i tap quickly it just opens the app drawer as you can see right now it did open the app drawer let's open all the apps from memory again but like app switching and stuff should be pretty fine as you can see all the apps like switching and stuff is pretty good 
and the whole performance does not like get stuttery or something the whole UI stays pretty smooth all the time so that I like over here but like Therom does not have a lot of customization so I am not liking it very much but this is a really good ROM if you want stock Android-ish Android 10 ROM this will be a really good choice for a lot of you guys I think and one more thing that I have found is that even if you connect a headset the headset icon does not simply appear on the status bar over here and the Google Pay and stuff is working fine here not a problem we have the DRM info as level 1 too so that's not an issue too and in the system we also have the front camera effects and stuff you can change these many like sounds option like MIUI for the front camera effects and they do work fine even the front camera LED and stuff is working fine over here so that's not an issue you also get the like MIUI camera by default here so that's a plus so thank you so much for watching this video guys if you like this from give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now